Hello, my friends. It's Nancy Bastien. And I come back today to show you I've done some research on this and found out why we get this in our doilies. We don't want this in our doilies. And we don't want to sit after we've unmolded them and pick it out. It's... Uh, tedious and monotonous and cut it out and yada yada and you have a lot around the edges so I learned this how to do this you take your mold and we'll do this one this one was uh, uh, what kind of hang on It was molding cream. <clears throat> Molded air by Viva Liqueur. And uh, I'm not sure how it's going to work, if it's going to work the same way as the uh, dimensional effects works. But what they told you to do was take a baby wipe and wipe this off as much as you can around. And you'll start seeing it coming up, maybe. See how that's coming up? And you just keep on doing that. If it doesn't work, then you put some alcohol on it. And what you want to do is you want to rub it till you get it all out of the little. So you can see. Maybe you can't see. I will certainly try to show you. <clears throat> you see some of these holes are bare and some are covered up. Well, you want these ones that are uncovered. You want all of them uncovered. So you see some over here that have got the molding stuff on them. You want that off. And so we are going to work it off with a rubbing alcohol and our see it's coming off you want to get this all off before you unmold it and that way you have your see you can see it coming off in there in the baby wipe that way you have it all looking like a doily instead of like this with all the holes filled in and you have extra work to do. And I especially wanted to show this for um, Teresa. Because she was making some. And she put a lot of product on her mold. And you don't need that much product. You're just wasting your product by doing that. And then you just want to clean these off really good before you unmold them. And... Uh, I can see this is going to take some work, even so I, I tried to put it on very, very thin because I want mine to look like doily, like a doily would look with holes, you know, a design in it. Am I making myself clear as mud or how am I doing here? And these have been carrying overnight. I did them yesterday so I could show you this demo today. And uh, like I just put a real thin coating on. And I see where some of these, it needs to come off of the mold. So it will look pretty, pretty. So I won't have to pick them out. Pick them off. And it will be all real pretty lacy. And 
And the rubbing alcohol, she said, would not ruin your molds or the stuff you put in. Okay, let's see if I've got it mostly off of there. Yeah, make sure I got it off of all these little ones. And then I'm going to re put some more of this stuff on and show you how thin I apply it. You don't have to have a whole bunch of it in your mold. But see how that's making my baby wipe go all funky because it's got that molding stuff in it. Alright. Now another trick she said was to bend these back and just start pulling them back like this. And looky there. Do you see the difference? How I got all that stuff off of it. And this has all the stuff in it. Let's do a, let's do the white one. This is, um, dimensional and I can see that it's coming off of the outside because I pulled my molding stuff to the outside and I don't see where I have too much of this to do just right in here these little ones I see I need to do those And this is 91% isopropyl rubbing alcohol. Don't inhale it like I just did. See, I want to get it off of all these little tiny little these little tiny little flower things I don't want any haze at all on them and sometimes if you haven't put a lot of product on you can get it off and they're sturdy they're really sturdy the product is you know this product is really sturdy. And then she said to bend it over like that. Now I see where this is going to tear a little bit. And that's not because it doesn't have product. It's because it's just that kind of a, a mold. Where is my a spatula? Well, where is my spatula I was using yesterday? See, I put things away so good. Then I can't find them again to save my soul. Oh, goodness. We'll use this one. 
and just want to get it started. This is a really delicate, fine line, really delicate mold, and it might need it to be cured a little more. If I can just get these started around the edge. You see that one kind of tore away. I can't remember if I used this one or not. I'm going to let that sit. That doesn't want to come out so good. Let's do this one. Now this one doesn't have much that needs to come off of it. I'm just going to rub it a little bit. Try not to spray it so much with alcohol. But you can see all this stuff coming off of the outside. That's stuff that you don't want stuck to your mo to your doily. You want to get that all off. You see how I'm getting it off? You see how that's coming off? Do I need to get you a little bit closer so you can see that? Hang on. Okay. It's real thin stuff. See like this? It's like real paper thin. But it's inside of my little holes right here. You see them starting to come off? Maybe I put this stuff on too thin. Maybe I should put it on a little thicker. I can see where I didn't get any in there. I'm going to put a little bit more on this and let it sit. But I just wanted to show you this process so that you don't have so much work to do after you take them out. And you can get all that little stuff off of it that wants to hang on for dear life. See all that? Yeah, it's on the outside, but it'll stick to your doily if you don't get it off. And then you just have a really pretty lacy look. But I have some holes right here where I didn't get the, the putty, the molding. And what the dimensional effects in there, molding stuff. Now, the lady that sh was showing this procedure, um, this technique, she used caulking on, on all of her molds. 
she liked caulking better than she did um, molding. I wish I could remember her name. I don't think I bookmarked it. I'll have to go back to see if I can find it. But I'm going to go get the dimensional stuff. I'll be right back. We're getting ready for my mother-in-law's um, memorial service tomorrow, and I gotta be gotta go to the chapel tonight at six o'clock to put stuff in the fridge. Now I remember my mother putting wax paper over stuff so it wouldn't dry out, and I'm trying this out to see if it works. And I know if you keep, you know unscrewing it it's going to get a hole in it but you know wax paper is wax paper right all right if you can see right in here let me get miss auto on here can you see the little holes right here where there's not any of this in there i'm going to go back and fill that in and then I will show. See, all of this, even though you scrape it off, it has just a little film on it. And yeah, that's what I'm wiping off so that all these little holes will be exposed. I'm just going to put a little more of this stuff on. And I just put it on real thin and push it in. And then spread it around. And I, I thought I was taking my time and and doing this really good, but I guess I didn't notice that I had little spaces till you start looking at it really close. I'm gonna go over it a little bit more. Just push it down in there. And then see, I scrape it off. I don't let it sit like that. I don't like smear it on there like that and let it sit. I scrape most of it off as much as I can. See how much I scraped off of that? So that I but you still have that film you still get that film a little bit now i'm going to go back and see if i can re redo this one so i can get some of those spaces that are breaking I think I remember I had a hard time with this one coming out of the mold and I just I didn't use it but I could be wrong it might needed to cure just a little longer because it's real cold in this basement that reminds me I need to get my fairy lily out my fairy lily is bulbs that I let die during the winter and then I take them back out in the summer. And I probably need to repot them. See, there's a. So there's just a little film on there that I have. But I'm scraping most of that off. Do I keep repeating myself? Yeah. And I'm going to let that cure. I'm going to let this one cure for a couple of days before I go scrubbing on it. But do you see that film? I don't know if you can see that. 
Can you kind of see the film that's on it? That's what needs to come off before you unmold it, okay? I'm going to set this one over here. To... And I put the wax paper back on my jar. And I'm going to clean my palette knife off. And I'm going to throw these away and get a couple of, get a new one. Okay, I'm going to do this one and that one. You didn't see it. I have a green one over here, too. Okay. Now, these are individual butterflies, and I can see that they shrunk. And I, I'm being very gentle rubbing them this time. But I want to make sure I get I want a little bit of alcohol on my baby wipe. Not so much on the, the mold itself. I can see where that's really thin around the bottom. And I'm going to do this one. So basically, you're just kind of cleaning them off before you unmold them. To get the film off. And we're going to see how they do. Because I've unmolded this one before. I've used this one before. But I left all this filmy stuff on it. I can see where that one's not. I'm going to set that over here for a minute to dry a little bit. And we will do this one. Now, see, I've got a lot of this stuff on the edge. I can see. Can you see it coming off? See that? That's what you want to get off. And if you have it in your, all that stuff in your, doily here, it's not going to be pretty. It's going to have a lot of stuff in it. Where you can't see the pretty prettiness of it. I know, I'm repeating myself over and over. I don't know what else to say. I hope you're seeing all this stuff come off. I really hope you're seeing all that. Okay. Let's see if we can unmold this. Just a little. Yeah, I know these came out good the last time I did them, so... Hopefully, we can get them started. With your finger now. All right. Now, see right up here in this little corner? I didn't rub that as much up there, and there's some film in there that's going to have to be picked out. But overall, look how pretty it came out. And it's so delicate. Let's try this one. I can see some film right there that I need to get off of that little. These little spaces right here. Like I said, you don't need to rub hard. I was scrubbing that other one really hard. But you do want to just 
Yeah, help it along here, help it along. Now, one other thing. These are mixed media. You've used mixed media products in these. Do not use food in these. These are only to stay in your craft room, not to do anything else with. Okay, just so far so good. And looky there. Look how pretty. So if your molds are coming out with gunky stuff in them like this one, you should have scrubbed it before you took it out of the mold. I don't know if it'll come off this way. See if you just scrubbed it. When it was in the mold, all these thingies would come out. And it wouldn't look like that. I mean, it's pretty. But it could be prettier. Is that the same? No, that's this one. Okay. Let's check this butterfly. Get it started. Just be very, very gentle. Oh, and another thing I forgot was cornstarch. If you put cornstarch in your mold before you put the caulking or the stuff, it'll come out easier. And also you can put it over the top when they're still in the mold and they tend to come out easier. I forgot the cornstarch. I was just thought of that when now see that one broke. This butterfly broke. This little piece piece fell out of it. See? She can still use it because you know it's mixed media. But if I'd had cornstarch in this mold, it probably would have come out easier. Cornstarch, remember, cornstarch. Let's try this one. I know this one's going to come out real easy because this stuff is really, really hard. It's just really, really pliable. Okay, that one came out pretty. I didn't get any of the stuff on it. Hang on, I'm going to go find the corn, corn, corn starch, the corn starch. I don't know where I'm from, where they say corn. The corn starch. I'll be right back. Well, I didn't find the corn starch, but I did find the baby powder. So, I'm going to put some baby powder in here. I don't know if this is open or not. There, it's open now. Just going to put a little bit in this jar. This was a mayonnaise, a Miracle Whip, craft Miracle Whip jar. See that? I save all my jars. So anyway, you just take a brush and brush a little bit of cornstarch or cornstarch, baby powder, whatever. Ooh, smells really good. And then tap it out. These bristles are falling out of these brushes, Shannon Green.
and I'm going to show you how I proceed to put this stuff in so it's real thin. All right, let's put the hit <laughs> the The lid back on that, set it somewhere. Set this on the floor for a minute. Get this wiped off. Now I don't have my doily. Uh, they're being re dried. So we're going to. Put it in here on here and I just take a little bit on the back of the spatula and I just rub it and push it in and push it in rub it back and forth and make sure try to make sure that you see all of your little and then I scrape it off but I push it in and you really want to cure these for 24 hours not just a couple hours I know it's real tempting to want to take them out And like I said, I just take a small amount. You don't need a whole jar of this stuff. You just need a small amount to push it into the holes. And then scrape it back. And when you do the scraping, you don't have so much work. But I'm going to leave quite a bit of film on these because I want to show you basically what it looks like when you don't scrape it back. So on this one, well, I'm going to on all of them. I'm just going to put it on there. and leave it on there. Then you'll see what I mean. When I come back and make another video on it. But I just want to show you how I push it down into the little yeah, just push it in there. Push it real hard. Push it, push it real hard. That's what she said. You see, and I'm so used to wanting to scrape it that I don't leave any on the top. But I'm going to leave some on the top. But I want to make sure I get in there at the very beginning. And when you do this, if you scrape it back, then you don't have near the work that a lot of people would have if they just left a ton of it on there, like frosting. Okay. So I got quite a bit on there. And I haven't scraped any off. And I'm going to set that aside. See? I want to show you how much is left on there. Now if I would have scraped it, it would have you know, been cleaner than that. 
Let's do this one. And I do it the same way. And I just push it in. Try not to get your hair in there. People might not like your hair if you send these off to people. Now I'll show you how I stored them. I learned this trick from this lady also. Yeah, this is all she does is make she said she wants to buy every lacy mold that she can find and this is all she does is make lace. She makes lace with molding paste and caulking. Now I can see there's a little hole right there. Make sure you go back and get that. Because you know what? This molding paste dimensional magic has a tendency to shrink and when it shrinks it will leave those little it'll shrink away from your mold all right I'm going to leave that for tomorrow and I'll come back and I can remember how my mother having bottles of wax paper screwed on them. I couldn't figure that out. Now I know. Okay, what you want to do is set that off to dry. Some place where it's safe. And... You want that that one tore a little bit too right there. I can see. No, that's a little place. It tore off of there. Talking to myself here. Okay, let's wipe this off. Because we're gonna get more gunk on it. I'm gonna set these well. You want to dust them with your um, powder again before you put them away to store them. You don't need a lot. But you don't want them to stick together either. And they are a little sticky till they get cured totally. Mine never um, did get unsticky. And I had them in a thing and they all stuck together. That's all that why they're wrinkly like this. So now what you do is I want this one. This just really has a whole different texture than the, I don't know, it's really weird. This baby powder smells pretty good. It smells like a baby's butt. I think it's got cornstarch in it feels like it does okay now you want to get some parchment paper and mine's right over here I'll get it 
real quick like. I have to get up and move. I have to get up and move my behinder. So you want parchment paper, non-stick. You don't need too much if you just going to store little ones. And you just put them on here like so. And you just take it and start rolling it. And you store them rolled up like that. And I take a paper clip and clip the ends. And that way they won't they won't stick to each other. Hopefully they won't be crinkled when you unroll. I'm going to unroll the ones that I did yesterday and see if they're wrinkled any, which I assume they probably would be. Let's see, where did I put them? Right here. I probably could have put them inside of this one. So when you unroll them, see that? Now oh, that one kind of got messed up. But these were messed up before. These were my old ones. But there they are. They unroll and you can use them. They need to have a dusting of... Now see, I did use this one. And I didn't seem to have trouble getting it out of the mold. Hmm. I'm going to dust these with some powder and I will see you tomorrow when uh, these are dry but I'm going to close this video out and I will make a new one for tomorrow and I'll see you again. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if it was informative to you and hopefully you will make some of your own because they are fun and they're I think they're going to be real fun to use on journal pages or what have you, ACCs. So, thanks everybody. Bye-bye.